Bleach Act Eight. It's a Kubo. Oh, this means a lot to me for no reason. I just like it. I just connect to it. There's something about being really into what's going on in the foreground or waiting to understand what the mystery is in the background. It feels slice of life E. We're just it feels villain of the week E. It feels like we're going to go on a hundred different spirit detective missions. Rokia and Ichigo, we hang out at school, we have our school life, but then uh oh, the 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 ghost is attacked. And Rookie and Ichigo are going to need to dip out r real quick without being noticed. Switch to their Soul Reaper forms and start kicking ass. I don't think I've ever seen Rukia fight past Chapter 1 besides maybe like... I mean, nothing. Has she done any... Has she fought... She can see the ghosts. There's a time in Orihime's room. <laughs> Rukia's in her jammies. <laughs> She's not helping. She's not fighting. She's not... She can't fight matters I just think that these two are gonna be a one-two bunch a Batman and Robin she's kind of like the character that knows everything you know so she can explain to the audience what's happening she's kind of the explainer Ichigo plays the audience member what was that noise what's going on and Rukia will be like, well, Ichigo, you stupid. You fool. Here's what's really going on. It has some sort of men in black. Flash. You know what I'm talking about? Staring to the light. A replacement. I erased tonight from her memory and gave her substitute memories. We can't let people know about us. Only we can't choose the new memories. They're random. She probably didn't see anything, but just in case, I'll do her too. You'll see what I mean tomorrow. No, for real! A Yakuza gunman totally came in and, like, blasted a huge hole in my wall! <laughs> That's not exactly what happened to Orihime, but... What did you think of Orihime's arc? I thought it was pretty good. As far as, we're, we're going to... The first arc, really. A couple chapters. I, I just really liked it. Orihime is 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 a character who I think I understand on the surface, but actually is a little deeper than I than than she looks on the surface. You know, I guess Ichigo's like that too. I guess we're about to see if Chad's like that too. He's very stoic. He's very silent. Is he a little bit more complicated than he looks? He looks pretty simple. He looks very co cookie cutter. Volume one, we we had our initial incident, which was pretty. The uh, the first chapter is really good. Most people's first chapters are really good. I'm usually, the first chapter is so well made, and this was no exception. And then the follow-up chapter was really good, too. Just Ichigo getting, look at this. I mean, this is, this is why we're reading Bleach. Moments like this, and it's right there at page 20, or whatever. It's just cool. It's just badass. Our, our boy is dope as fuck. Our main character is dope as fuck. He's really cool. You know, he's one of those characters. It reminds me of Sterling Archer. I'm not sure I'd want to be his friend. But I think, but when he's on screen, I really like him. He's funny. He's cool. He had a moment with Rookie. I might put this on my wall. I might should do this before I even do this stupid video. It's the, it was the part right before the Orihime chapter where he's out saving a little kid or whatever. And Rookie is like, don't save him. And Ichigo's like, what are you talking about? And she says, if you're not going to save everybody, you don't need, you can't just save the people right in front of you. You have to save everyone, Ichigo. You need responsibility. You're just doing this because you see the person in trouble in front of you and you're jumping to the aid. But that's not how this works. And he has a retort like, I don't believe in that self-sacrificing garbage Rukia. Neither do you. I'm not ready to commit to this. I might just run the next time stuff gets hectic. I can't promise I'll always be willing to risk my life for a stranger. But I know I owe you a large debt, and I'm not a total scumbag. I'll help you out with this Soul Reaper job of yours, but I won't enjoy it. <laughs> oh, that was probably my favorite part of Chapter 1. It, these two feel like friends. You know, it could've it could have easily been Ichigo's got a crush on Rukia. I think Rukia might have a little bit of a crush on Ichigo. But they're um 
first and foremost friends. They're just friends. They're really good friends. They, they can talk to each other honestly with without sugarcoating things and not end up mad at each other. They're good friends. Are you crazy? I can't stand here and watch that thing eat him before your eyes or out of sight. They're going to be attacked either way, Ichigo. Even if you save him, he'll just get eaten later unless you do what I tell you to do. You just save him because you happen to be nearby. That's not how this works. Sacrifice myself. Will you shut up, Rukia? Duty is no reason to sacrifice yourself. At least, not for me. He ends up extending his hand to her. And she smiles. Anyway, it's been a minute since I've read Bleach. I'm just kind of reminiscing on, on the first volume. There's this moment where Orihime's brother, like, goes to kill her. Bites her. And she hugs him. He's kind of down here. And she kind of, and he kind of stopped. Why would you forget about me, Orihime? Don't you love your brother anymore? <laughs> Bro, you're dead. I wanted to share them. The fun things at school. The happy stuff. The things I liked. The people I liked. At first, all I did was pray to you every day. But I thought that was wrong. I didn't want you to see me sad all the time. I didn't want you to feel my pain. So I hid it from you, brother. I only shared my happiness with you. That's why I came back every day telling you about my friends. So you wouldn't suffer for me. I didn't realize it made you feel lonely. I had no idea. I'm sorry I hurt you. I love you. Orihime. Orihime! Rukia. It's not too late. She can still be saved. My, uh, the, my only confusion with the book, you know, it, it makes me feel like uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. It's like nobody in school seems to be concerned that she can just do magic. I mean, I think there's one stony nosed brat blonde girl who seems to know and is always trying to catch her. But most of the time, everybody in the, in the setting, in the story, all background characters, all everybody's just oblivious to what's going on here. This happened in Chainsaw Man, too. I felt like, well, does anybody even... This is apparently happening all right out in front of everybody, but nobody seems to know. With Orihime, she, she, her house gets destroyed. She gets a giant wound in her shoulder. And then the next day, everybody's just like, well, what, what happened? The Yakuza broke through your wall, you said? You know, the end of a Simpsons episode. And then the next episode, we're going to put the house back together. And Orihime's wound's going to heal. And, and we're going to go, we're going to reset and go back to normal. There's, there's not continuing consequences from let's say not killing the hollow fast enough or having him destroy a whole building they never really I, if there's some sort of spirit uh, policeman who come and go yep this is the hollow stuff we gotta fix this before the regular citizens figure it out it's just kind of all thrown in the background I, I feel like there's a consistency problem because <laughs> In the first chapter, Ichigo's house gets destroyed. Parents hurt. This isn't a dream. She really got hurt by a hollow. So what? What are the? How do you? How do you narratively? If they're secret, it just feels like I, I don't know. I just have to swallow that as an as a thing that I don't understand. If that happened in Chainsaw Man too, I just there. The, there would be some some moments with monsters out, out in the out in the street and it's just a big secret everybody just kind of looks away even the damage is kind of like we'll fix it no problem like they exist in a spiritual dimension that can't but it can it breaks buildings they attack people they kill people uh, Azuru, Azuru is like uh, held like Aaron's mom in this Titan's hand. I mean, she's just th this is not a joke. This is not a game. This is not a dream. These are real fucking things, whether you can see them or not. I'll probably cut all that out. I'm just trying to reconcile it in my head. There's just some really cool shots of Ichigo. I just like her main character. He's so cool. He's so cool. 
You know, Naruto, Luffy, Deku, not exactly the coolest characters I've ever met. Ichigo is really cool. He's just dope. He's just dope as fuck. Really like Orihime. She's got this, I'm a dit. I'm, I'm a dumb blonde. I'm a dumb... I'm, I'm, I'm ditzy. But she's actually very responsible. She's very mature. She lives by herself. She cooks for herself. She had her eclipse at 12 years old. I mean, she's she's re rebuilding her life one friend at a time. She's taking care of herself. She's got a boy she's crushing on. She's moving past the tragedy that, that has beset her her whole life. She's a pretty strong girl. I like that her best friend is it is it Tatsuki? She's kind of a tomboy to Orihime's like uh, girly girl sort of personality. They make a really good, they're really good friends. I you know I like them on screen together. And Tatsuki is childhood friends with Ichigo. It's just a cool little slice of life relationships. Going to school together. Who's crushing on who? Who's best friends with who? Like, who's the strongest? Who can be doing a fight? It's very similar to that, <laughs> I think. Kubo has some of the coolest side... I mean, these aren't even... This isn't even art from the show. He's just drawing Ichigo really in uh, interesting clothes. I want Rukia to be in a batting costume. I'm just drawing my characters in fun ways. And in pajamas. It's so funny. Rookie, I thought you were Shinigami. I thought you were the. I'm just here with my Pez dispensers and my juice box. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoying paradise. And then we go, we meet Chad. Introduced to Chad in episode 7. We had an Ichigo a couple chapters. We had a Rookie and Ichigo chapter. We had an Orihime couple of chapters, and then we end the volume with a Chad chapter. Another one of our cast members. Chad, in a storytelling style where everything's a, in dialogue, Chad sure doesn't have many lines. <laughs> He's kind of the silent type. Strong silent type. There's, there's a moment where a beam from a construction site seems to fall on these on on Chad's friends and he 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 jumps over there and bears the weight of the crash on his back <laughs> his shoulders and they go wow are you okay and he goes yeah i'm fine and then that's when the parakeet starts talking to him it seems to be human esque it's not Probably want a cracker. It's, thank you for saving me. How are you? What, what's your name? So Chad seems to take special interest into this bird. Wow, that bird is uh, talking to me. Some really cool, cool boy. I'm sorry. Rukia. Well, I did have the best grades in my keto class. Healing that wound is easy. Rukia can heal. Confirm. It's canon. She can heal using keto. Like a reaper school? Something like that. <laughs> By the way, to go. How do I drink this? Huh? You just poke the straw in it. S straw? I'm in trouble with the juice box. Trying to be all fucking hard and cool. Each go. How do you open the juice box? We're kind of hanging out with Mizuru and Kago. Just doing regular guy stuff, talking about girls, and then a bunch of thugs come up, and Ichigo's like, I'm, am I going to have to do something about this? But no, actually, Chad comes up and finishes the job. Then they say, how did you get all that wounds? You're covered in wounds. He said a beam fell on me. A beam! And today I hurt my hand at the grocery store shopping. I ran into a motorcycle. That's interesting because Orihime actually just ran into a car in her chapter. This isn't one of those, like, in order to start my isekai adventure, I'm going to have to take it from a truck. Does Ichigo die? He dies die. He takes the sword to the chest. They all die. All three of our main characters so far are dead. Rookie is not even alive. Here comes Chad, and he got hit by a motorcycle this morning. You don't say. Really interesting. Something to keep in mind. In order to become a main character in the story, you might have to get hit by a car. 
guy driving the car got hurt real bad when he hit me with his car. <laughs> and then Chad's carrying the parakeet around with him everywhere he goes. I'm not sure what to think of Chad yet. Is he stupid? He's very strong and he's very stoic. But is he stupid? He's clearly some sort of emotional awareness. He's not emotionally stunted. He likes the bird. He takes care of his friends. Then we cut to the Kurosaki Clinic. This is where Ichigo's dad works. And it looks like Izuru and Karen help as little nurses. Ichigo walks in and apparently there's been a giant car accident. There's many people hurt. Dad's on the phone screaming for more help, trying to get other clinics, I guess, to help him. Stupid flunkies! Dad, I can I do anything? No! Just assume the fetal position and stay out of the way. <laughs> so, Ichigo assumes the fetal position sits in the hallway. Hilarious. Another person who stumbles in the clinic is, well, Chad. Strawberry. Chad's holding the parakeet, and Karen instantly senses that's not a parakeet. Something's wrong with that. Karen has spiritual awareness. There's this shot of Chad basically with half of his back gone. I mean, his skin is just torn off. It's just torn off. I don't, I don't know if that's a, a claw or if it's just a big scrape, but his back is... This is not... The kind of pain you would feel from that is just great. I'm seeing his muscle. He's a real, what a horrible wound. Ichigo, this feeling. Papa Kurosaki, this is bad. It looks like a burn. And it's still bleeding. I have to take it easy, Chet, huh? I'm, I'm, I'm fine now. You're nuts! I'll decide who's fine around here. Hey! And then Chad slumps over. What did I just tell you? Izuru, Karen, get a bed ready. Just staring on. Watching. On time to go Betty bye. Uh, shot of the window. Shot of Chad in his room. Under the window. Looking over at the parakeet. Ichigo talking to uh, Rukia. Cut to these two in a bedroom. They're just friends. Did you find it? Rukia, of course. I felt it all the way in here. I sense no evil in the parakeet, but his wound, it reeks of hollow. And then Chad jumps out the window, or, or escapes, or is disappears, or is no longer in his bed. And also, the bird's gone. With the window ajar. And that's where it cuts us off. I don't know what Chad... Chad is always looking cool, man. He's got tattoos, he's got gold chains, he's got really nice button-up shirts. I guess it's the same button-up shirt that he wears in every scene. But it's a really nice shirt. He had another one when he got hit with the beam, but that one was pretty bloody. I guess he would change. Probably should be looking at their shirts too closely. Sorry, Google. Anyway. Oh, that was volume one. I was really into it. We're going to pick up chapter two. We're going to see where we go. People have hope because they cannot see death standing behind them. <laughs> Kisuke Urahara. You were outsmarted by Urahara. Tatsuki. Chad. Orihime, Rukia, Ichigo. Chapter 8, Chasing Chad. We get Izuru. She's so cute. We had her in a nurse's outfit the other day. Now she's in, the, she's got the apron. Ichigo, breakfast is ready. Yesterday around 5.30 in the afternoon, five cars collided at the intersection. Karakura Town, 3rd District. Where's Karen? Miraculously, nobody was killed. She didn't eat. She's not feeling well. I'm worried. Garen's sick? That's strange. Ichigo! Bad news. Chad's not in his room. Papa Kurosaki. We get the shot of, I guess it's a subway, or maybe it's the roof of the school. We see two guys in the hallway. That's the lesbian who likes horror email. Bam! The door opens up. Keigo. Hey. 
Mizuru. Hey, what's up, Ichigo? Is this shirt? Mizuru instantly smiles. <laughs> you got here just in time. Ichigo, is Chad here? Huh? Have you seen Chad? Mizuru, no, not today. Okay, go. I don't think he's here yet. That's so weird. He's usually here 10 minutes before class. Only man like Chad wouldn't miss school over sniffles. What's this all about, Ichigo? You want to play with his barricade? Okay, wow. Ichigo immediately turns around and runs out of the classroom. Hey, where are you going? Wait, Ichigo, that's the bell. He slams the slams on the wall. All right, people, take your seats. Time to explore contemporary literature. She's walking to teacher class, but Ichigo is running out of the classroom. Instantly turns around. Ichigo, where do you think you're going? Sorry, I gotta talk to the head. Is there a poisonous mushroom that makes people run? I don't know, but he was looking for Chad. Hmm. Okay. Okay, he'll probably be back later. Time to take attendance. She's not too worried. Not worried at all. It's each go after all. I got ramen on the book. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, library. Parker South Elementary School. The women's restroom. <laughs> Occupied. <laughs> Karen, are you okay? Uh. Go away. I'd like a little privacy. Get to class. But I'm worried. I said I'm all right. Now hurry up or I'll pinch you. <laughs> little girl. How's Karen? Midori. Never mind. That doesn't sound good. Yuck. <laughs> blip, blip, blip. Hey. She stopped. <laughs> Wham! Opens the bathroom door. Yikes! I'm going home. Wobble. Get my bag from the classroom. What? Going home, Karen? Just get it! Okay! Um, looks like the worst is behind you, Karen. What are you doing here, Midori? Huh? Beat it! Karen's hard. Why, she, you think she's sick from the parrot? What do you think she's so sick? Okay, see ya. Wow, Karen's scary when she's sick. She looks over, sigh. Cut back to each go running through the town. Don't have time for school. Running through the neighborhood. Screams, Ichigo! Rukia! Find anything? Any clues? No. You? Nothing. No messages from the Soul Society, and I didn't sense anything either. When hollows aren't chasing souls, they hide between the worlds of the living and the Soul Society. We can't locate it until it shows up in the real world to attack Chad. That's why we wait for orders from the Soul Society. Diagram here. World of the Living, Soul Society, and then there's like this black line that separates the two, and the hollows hide in there. Hiding place for the hollows. Invisible to detection. Presence can only be sensed when the hollows are here in the living world. Chad's in danger. Shoot. If we wait for it to attack, it'll be too late. There's gotta be something. I got it. Chad's parakeet. We can use it to detect the presence of the hollow. What? That's impossible. Come on. <laughs> What's he doing? It's this sensation. Rookie looks at him. Ichigo? It can't be. It's not possible. Can't sense such a weak soul at this distance. And the human soul is being partly eclipsed by the parakeets, making it even harder to detect. Home in on it from so far away? Ichigo sensing the presence of the bird. The human being soul is being partially eclipsed by the parrots, making it even harder to detect. So the parakeet has a soul, there's a human soul inside the parakeet, Ichigo is trying to sense the human soul, but the parakeet soul is obscuring his detection. 
Dom. It looks like there are ribbons. Is that it? Is that ribbons flying everywhere around him? Ruki looks shocked. This is really and she senses the ribbons flying behind her but ichigo grabs one gotcha and then all that disappears and he says this way oh okay who spirit ribbon a sign of ghosts but only a seasoned soul reaper could see them is he could he really be developing so quickly he grabbed one of them it must belong to the parakeet really hard cut big cut Looks like we're sitting in some sort of warehouse or storage house. Looks like Chad is sitting by a window under a blanket next to the parakeet. I think we ditched him somehow. Wait, mister. Don't worry, I'm fine. Nothing if not sturdy. Oh, crack. Gets Chad's attention. Boom, something falls from the sky. Crush. Crack, 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 crack. Chad dodges out of the way, grabs the parakeet, and rolls to the side. Found us! We're out of here. Mister! Don't worry. We're gonna make it. And I promise, I'm gonna save your mother, too. Okay. <clears throat> I guess Chad's made a, a promise to this parakeet we're gonna save your mom too not just you kid why are things <laughs> it's like he's being chased by the spirit of death first the beam fell on his back then he was hit by a motorcycle then he was in a giant car accident where it looked like a hollow attacked him he escaped to a warehouse where another crash just seems to fly. he's just running from this it's like it's like a it's like a Final destination thing. He missed his he missed his time and now they're trying to take him out. He's running through the town. There! It's Chad! Looks over, Ichigo and Ruki are running right at him. Chad's like shit. Is he worried that they're gonna get hit with his death curse thing? Is that what this is all about? Is that why he's trying to get uh, Escape us? Don't you know he doesn't know. He doesn't know that we can help. Ichigo Hey! Jeez, Chad, stop running. You need my help. Ichigo. Aaron, what's the matter? You look terrible. Stagger. Whoop. Karen, Ichigo, you better take her home. I'll keep after them. What? I can't just leave you, Rukia. Do as I say. If we leave her here, you'll be worrying about her when you fight the hollow. You'll get us both eaten. Ichigo looks at her. Looks to the side like, damn, you right, though. Maybe I better go take care of my sister before we do this. Home and come back. Hurry. He goes to pick her up. Rukia, you don't have the strength to fight the hollow by yourself. Please, don't take any chances. He seems to understand her power level pretty pretty clearly. Rukia, you ain't strong enough to buy hollows. You just better uh, uh, get Chad and run, I guess. I wonder how Karen found him. It seems like she wanted to tell him something, but she didn't quite get it out. I think whatever's making her sick has anything to do with what's going on in this chapter. I think she might think that. <laughs> whatever's happening with her, all these weird stares, I think she thinks that. Rukia looks back at Ichigo, smiles. Don't be stupid. A veteran soul reaper never makes unnecessary risks. Now go! Split up. We're splitting up. Rukia chases Chad. Ichigo goes home. Uh, huffing, huffing, huffing. Karen, are you okay? Hang in there. I saw it. A memory from the soul in the parakeet yesterday. Maybe because I'm closest in age, his strongest memory flowed into my mind. You saying the soul inside the parakeet is your age? A memory from the soul in the parakeet yesterday. Maybe it's because I'm closest in his age, but his strongest memory flowed into my mind. He saw it all. He saw his mother get murdered. Ichigo, please help him. Please. Maybe she was sick because she was envisioning that scene in her mind so much it made her throw up. 
Pepper it was. She made it to Ichigo sick as a dog in time to tell him this. Now we care. He's like me. Rukia looks over at Chad. She made it. She found him. She's thinking something. That's the end of the chapter. It's a blip! That was so quick! Well, what did we learn? Ichigo has some sort of power to sense ghosts using the Riraku Spirit Ribbon. He can track them down. I can't sense Chad, but I can sense that little soul in that bird. Rookie is impressed. He shouldn't be doing that at the at his skill level. Karen is sick. <laughs> the the kindergartners or the the elementary school kids where she's at. So she's so much older than the girls walking around her school. It's the having to grow up fast thing. Karen has that. Izuru, she's still got her innocence. It was funny watching Ichigo run into class. Just to say, where's Chad? He's not here. Okay, I'm out. I'm gone. I'm just here for Chad. The teacher seemed to allow it. Not concerned. Again, Ruka and Ichigo just uh, best friends. Their connection is really strong. Any antagonism in their relationship is jest they're joking they're bragging to each other who's stronger Rukia likes to say well I'm really smart and I'm really strong and Ichigo likes to say well I'm really smart and I'm really strong that's their little joke that they tell to each other but besides that they're besties I mean I guess that's just what do you call that uh, playful banter Chad is being haunted by some sort of spirit of death he knows it and he's not explaining it to anybody he's just taking it upon himself to deal with it doesn't want help from the doctors doesn't want help from Ichigo and Rukia doesn't want help from his friends I'm just gonna take this parakeet we're gonna go save your mother I guess we'll find out next chapter what that means surprised that when Chad saw Ichigo and Rukia he ran I thought he'd be like, hey, hey guys, I, I need some help with my parakeet. No, he's out. I hope Karen's okay. I don't know why she's sick. It's unclear. I'm taking a wild stab and saying the memory that the parakeet soul had of watching his mother get murdered is upsetting her tummy. It, w watching this in her head is making her sick. That's my guess. I don't know. I hope it's nothing worse than that. First time I think I've ever seen Ichigo go, okay, you, you I won't, I'll stay on the sidelines. You, you go, you go fight, Rukia, but don't fight, please, and don't, you're not strong enough. Don't take any chances. Ichigo, a veteran soul reaper, never takes unnecessary risks. We'll see if she eats her words. Short chapter. Depressingly short we're gonna have to go on to more. The first chapter in the volume, I expected it to be a be a tie-in to the last chapter. I guess it was. But now I just wanna see what happens. Will Chad escape the spirit of death? Will Rukia be able to fight any hollows without Ichigo? Is Karen gonna be okay? I guess we'll find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Dun 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 d